Alrighty. So it might not fit all the way perfectly through, but that is A-OK. -okay. Next up, I have some pre-cooked chicken. I'm gonna splat this Ooh. on your ramen noodles. I absolutely, absolutely love ramen noodles. They're so healthy and they're actually very low on sodium. You should get into it. Next up, I have the chicken broth from the chicken. <laughs> Next up, I have some Philadelphia chive and onion cream cheese. I'm gonna just blop it in respectfully nice because I don't want it to splatter. Ooh, my God. Are you gonna be able to mix all that? I believe my neighbor is here. Oh, oh you're so smart, Ryan. You deserve a raise. Uh, thanks. Oh. Ooh, another dookie sound. Damn. Why can't I get away from it? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this up. Break this cream cheese. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Let me tell you something. Don't, let me, hey, we're, I'm showing you the steps. Sometimes when you're in the kitchen, it's not as easy as it looks but we're just going to actually let that warm up and soak so it could be smaller all right i'm going to just go to the next thing and add my black and green mushrooms they're super important again i got it from the black and green market all right next step i am going to add broccoli yummy yummy broccoli <laughs> okay, let me open up the broccoli. Okay, we're gonna pour this out. Broccoli! Yay! Come on, broccoli. No, wait, hold on, broccoli. You need to sometimes open up the hole for the fluid to come out and the substance. So, alright. Got that broccoli. It's gonna be real good, y'all. Got that broccoli on tight, on tight. Next up, I got some to present reduced fat milk. I'm gonna pour this all over. Oh, that was delicious to even watch. I was really amazed by that. Next up, I have some garlic and herb. So good. All right. What do I say when you're in the kitchen? You don't make a mess. That means you ain't do it right. All right. You see these little packets that they give you? I'm going to only open up two because I season my own chicken. Mm. Again, these packets are really low on sodium. So this is super healthy. You guys, I'm, I work at a gym. So it is super important. Actually, I don't work for a gym anymore. Out with old and with the new. Isn't that what Sharpay says in um, High School Musical? Anyways, people watching this is not even in their age group. Wouldn't even know what it's High School Musical is. All right, again, I'm gonna just mix it up. It's okay if it's a little clumpy because what we are going to do at the very, very end, when I take it out of the oven, is mix it all together. So we're gonna. Now that just looks so yummy. So good. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven at 375 for a whopping 20 minutes. All right, you guys, my noodles are done. Let's go. Woo, you ready for this, time? Let's go. Oh, man, let's go, let's go. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. My goodness, where did all this extra stuff where come did from? Let's go, come from. Did you put that in there? Uh-uh, did you? Kyra? No. Hmm. Maybe Stack could come up in here and mess my stuff up. I love putting eggs in there. Cup of nougat ramen. This just looks so good and presentable. What do you think, Ryan? 
Is hit. this something that your grandma would have made you? Um, maybe. Maybe. She makes mm. me ramen. Mm -hmm. This is like ramen. This is better than ramen. Yeah. Be well, let me go for a small. Ooh, just look at that, y'all. Let me just get one good bite in. Excited. Wow! It's so creamy down the throat. It slid down like a PVC pipe with Jiffy Lube on it. Mmm. This was so good, y'all. Make it for your grandbabies. Make it for the church pastor. Go ahead and make it for your wife. Because she will be laid off on the couch after eating all this. Uh, what's up, silly boys and girls? It's Chef Shadidi again here to show you silly boys and girls how to make something really quickly. A little dinner in one pan to please your man. This should be in every woman's repertoire, okay? Or every man's repertoire, every child's repertoire. It's just something that anybody can make, right? I start with this Rotel, uh, I'm sorry, Rainbow Rotini. It's just a macaroni product, little spinach and tomato. So it's healthy, it has some antioxidants sort of built in, all right? And uh, then I went to the grocery store. You can make this yourself if you want to cook some chicken, but they make it at the grocery store. Just a little bit of chicken, all right? Rotisserie chicken. You can use any kind of chicken you want, but rotisserie is good because it doesn't have a lot of flavor because we want to control the flavor of this dish, okay? So uh, look here. If you got a man and you got a girlfriend and you're the, the designated cooker in the house, I want you to leave a comment and let me know how your spouse or significant other appreciated this dish. All right, so this right here, is a bona fide chicken alfredo, but next level, right? He's not gonna be clowning you on the ground talking about City Boys Up because you know your chicken alfredo was straight out of that Michelina package that you put in the microwave for five minutes. This is only gonna take you 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So next, we're gonna use this right here. Canned alfredo. Now I know you might wanna make your own alfredo sauce, but if you don't wanna make your own alfredo sauce, use this right here. It is as close as it gets. Very, very few preserve. Actually, I don't think there's any really real artificial preservatives in there. It's only using natural preservatives in this brand, Classico. I like it. It's really quick when you gotta please your man and your mama's coming over and she didn't teach you how to cook, but your man expects you to know how to cook. So we're gonna have to show you a little, a little more things right here, a little bit of water. This is about two cups of water. All right, we're gonna get all that creamy Alfredo out of this. All right, we're not gonna let any of that go to waste. All right, man, and make sure your little workout Better than a shake weight, y'all. Mmm. All right. Put all up in there. All right, this, that's going to give you the moisture that you need to cook that enriched macaroni product. All right, next, I want to show you guys something real quick. I went ahead and took the liberty to chop up a little bit of this uh, sun-dried tomato. These are some basic. You can get these out, out of a package. These are just California sun-dried tomatoes that are diced up. Um, if you don't have knife skills and you can't dice, I'm gonna give you guys a little demonstration just to show you something nice, all right? So here's a few things you can do. Right here I have some basil and I have some scallion, otherwise known as the green onion. Basil real quick, this is a technique I call shift or not. I really like doing this, it doesn't take long, all right? Uh, if you know how to roll a blunt, if you roll a black one, it's easy to do this right here. You just take this right there, put the biggest leaves on the bottom, all right? And then put your fingers in the middle, take your thumbs on the outside and just roll, baby. Boom, you just use the board, just real quick. Now, use your knuckles. You wanna keep that like that because you don't wanna cut off your fingernails because you just got them done, right? You just wanna use the knuckles on your knife. Wham, bam. If I'm showing you this for the first time, welcome to cooking, all right? Now you can just rip this apart with your hand, but your man will make fun of you. He'd be like, mama, she didn't even know how to use a knife. All right, easy, okay? Vice versa, my, my dude, don't don't let your girl clown you because there's a guy like me out there that knows how to do this, I promise you. If you're cooking for your girl and you want to, you know, blow her away and replace everybody in her cell phone, check this out. This right here, this is some green onion, all right? I'm going to slice these in extreme bias, all right? Now, the only way to do this safely is to have the sharpest knife possible, all right? A sharp knife is a safe knife. If your knife isn't sharp, your knife is in shape because it's going to slip and hurt you. Now we got some pretty little elegant looking green onions. Now I also want to put some green onion in the actual um, mix. So I'm just going to chop this straight down the line. That's it. Get rid of that little part. All right, so now we got our veggies chopped up, man. 
let's let's go ahead and season this correctly so i'm gonna put these rough chopped green onions all in there all right don't worry about not mixing them correctly yet all right i'm gonna put all of this basil look how pretty that looks all right See, I'm going to tell you all something about cooking. Cooking isn't just about flavor, man. Texture is important, too. And, you know, cutting things really makes a difference. It really does. Like, it just makes the dish more enjoyable. It's all about what I say, you know, put a little love in your food. When you take time to put on the gloves and actually cut it up, you know, and you get a little cutty buddy out of your food, man, you put some love in it. And now let's add a little bit more love. Next is the flavor. So we got the texture down. Let's get the flavor. We're going to use some of this. Mrs. Dash. I love it. I'm going to fill up a cap full of that. No, no salt in it. It's only flavor. I want that flavor. So yeah, I think that's good. You know. Next thing, I put this on everything. Tony Shasheries. Don't be asking me no questions. Just add a few dashes. This stuff has a lot of salt in it, and it's pretty spicy. And that's it. Now we're gonna mix, mix, mix. Get all of those flavors mixed into that chicken into their macaroni trust me you're gonna need <clears throat> you're gonna need this in your life all right we're gonna cover this with some foil and then we're gonna cook it on 350 degrees for 30 minutes i'm gonna let that macaroni be nice and soft and we're gonna come back and revisit this see you in a second all right put this in the oven for like i said 350 for about 20 30 minutes all right so it's not all the way cooked but that's on purpose we're gonna add a few more ingredients we don't want to add these in at first because i just want to have to overcook the spinach. We're going to add a couple handfuls of spinach. Alright. We're going to mix that in. Alright, this spinach has a little bit of flavor in, you know, itself. So we're not going to add any more salt or anything. A little bit of water. We're going to mix that all in. Get that covered. This also gives us a chance to mix up the rotel if some of them were near the top and weren't. I can't even cook this ones near the bottom. Alright. And last, we're going to put in some mozzarella cheese right on top. You can use the whole bag. I'm using an 8-ounce bag of mozzarella cheese. All right. I'm going to spread that out all over the top of this. Once that's spread out, we're going to put that back in the oven. For another 15 minutes on 350 degrees covered, right? Because like I said, I want to keep the moisture in. And this is going to be good. Let's see what it looks like. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Last step. 15 to 20 more minutes in the oven. Okay, look at that. The chicken and garden vegetable rotini. Oh, man. I'm digging it. I'm going to mix that all up. I'm about to get me some, I'm about to get me some. That's what you're gonna be saying when you make this and put that on her plate. She takes a big bite of that and you're gonna be like, I'm gonna get me some. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get me some of this. All right, let's see. Make sure you leave it in there for an additional 20 minutes and it'll come out. If you like your pasta not to be al dente, about five extra minutes in there, this would be great. Try this for your next date, y'all. Mm. Alright you guys, I just added some diced tomatoes with chili. I added some artichoke hearts. I made a little bit of mess. Got overly excited. I just love cooking. I added some artichoke hearts and then I added um, some ground sausage. Hot, spicy. Next up, I searched the deepest layers of the sea and I found the Loch Ness Sea Monsters layer and I grabbed some of its um, um, nest. I go ahead and grab that. Um, now I fought off that um, creature 
and I went into the Asian Sea and I went ahead and just snatched its um, nest right from um, the sea and I'm going to show you guys an exotic um, dish right here. Next up I have some Philadelphia original. Wow, that sound was just amazing. One thing I will say about this brand I love because it is easy to um, kind of like mold. Um, now will I say it's easy to open? Only time could tell right now. Okay. And open. Mm. Just like that. All right. Mm, just like that. Go ahead and just put it to the side. I got some minced garlic. We're going to put about one fourth in there. All right, let's just start mixing. It is super important to mix everything. I know that obviously the cream cheese is kind of like a binder and makes it creamier. So that is going to be obviously one of the most difficult things to kind of like um, blend. Again, I like to clean my surroundings. I like to also break apart the artichoke heart. And this um, Loch Ness Sea Monster's nest, like the, I don't know if it's his fur or, um, or his um like shedding but it does smell delicious right Ryan? Love it. What is this? Um you know this is a going to be a an exotic once in a lifetime um spinach and artichoke dip. Oh mm -hmm. okay. all right a little bit more of the breaking up of the hearts. See how everything is kind of like firming. All right, I have my tray. Let me bring some vegetable oil. Let me just spray it. And then we're going to just, oh no. I almost forgot one important step. The Monterey Jack cheese. This is also a binder. I'm going to put a good amount of that in there. Everyone probably thought that was anticlimactic. About to pour it in. Psych. Oh, you guys probably done. Wow. Well, that just didn't look appealing, but it's going to taste amazing you guys put the waste put the needle is everything move that to the side now I'm going to make it nice and smooth I know you guys like the label I don't know why you guys like it like that, but y'all like the wiggles. Alright, just like that. We'll go one last time. Perfect. And then we're going to add some more Monterey Jack cheese.
nice layer of cheese will go a long way for everyone's stomachs and bellies. All right, now that that is done, I like to just add some black pepper on top. This for looks, you'll see when it melts. And you have to do a hefty hefty amount just like that again while you're cooking yes you ain't doing it right if you make a little bit of a mess but let's clean as we go all right this bad boy is done we're gonna put this, look at the layers, Ryan. Just look at that. See all the ingredients? We're gonna put this in the oven at 375 and we're gonna leave it in for a good 20 minutes. All right, you guys, it is done and this smells absolutely delicious. Let's just go for it. Three, two, one. Ooh. My goodness, you guys, this looks lawless, of course. My OCD self has to just wipe the edges. It smells so good in here. We are going to really, I really outdid myself, Ryan. Really outdid myself. All right, let's just go for a section. Mm. Oh. This Loch Ness Monster Artichoke Dip looks absolutely delicious. I have my tortilla chips. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to grab a few. Put it on the side of my dish. And I'm going to just try it for you guys. Um, wow, you guys, this is such an amazing appetizer. The sausage, it has a little spicy kick to it. Oh my god, now my mouth is watering for another bite. You guys, um, parties are coming up, summer's coming around, and this would be an amazing dish to bring. I promise everyone will be raving about you and how good um, you are. Spinach and artichoke Loch Ness Monster dip will come out. Alright you guys, I just added some Jimmy Dean's cooked sausage and Smithfield Anytime diced ham. Next up I have some eggs. I'm going to crack some eggs up in here let me know in the comments below if you guys already know what I might be making sometimes if some of y'all are quick then the first two ingredients you guys try to call it out uh oh listen not everything's perfect Ooh, just like that that's in four five Six. And say we are going to do seven. My lucky number. Uh oh, I got one shell up in there. Let's see if I can get it out. I got it out. Oh, those are the two I'm going to save. Independent. All right. Next up, I have some asparagus. I did wash my asparagus, so that is why there is some. Um, water still left on there. I'm just going to grab a couple and I'm just going to match them all up and we're just going to snip. Uh oh. I'm just going to snip on down. Do you like asparagus, man? I like asparagus. Yeah. You? You like that? Yeah. I like asparagus. I just, well, I like it like cooked and steam and soft. So, but so y'all see right now because you could just throw those all in there. We're just gonna do a couple more asparagus. 
Uh, it is healthy, so asparagus are healthy, so that's a plus, right, Ryan? Mm -hmm. You know, us influencers, we have to watch what we eat. So, content creators and y'all, yeah, I was just lying about that. Like, you gotta be whoever you want to be, look however you want to be, and you could still be whatever you want to be. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now let me go ahead and move this to the side. Alright, let me clean this off. I got some seasoning. I got original seasoning. No salt. Perfect. I have some garlic and herb seasoning. Salt free. Splenda. Uh oh, Ryan, we got that more. Just so you know. I gotta tell HR firsthand. Black pepper, y'all. I love black pepper. So yummy. And you can't have eggs without a little bit of salt. No. We're trying to watch our sodium, but I did not say there was going to be no sodium, okay? Alright. So normally I just go mix it up. Just like this, you guys. Make sure you guys mix in with the sausage, sausage, and how are you feeling today, Ryan? I'm a little tired. Hey, we got you. Hopefully, after this, you can get some rest and be energized when you take a little square of this food once it's done because you need some food in your system. All right, just like that. I have to add a binder, so I got some mozzarella, Monterey Jack, I thought that was mozzarella. Alright, we're just going to put a good amount in there. Now, man, a lot of food, if you guys didn't know, may contain estrogen, so try to stay away from foods um, that have estrogen because it will affect your testosterone level if you didn't know now you know what's that song if you don't know now you know who sings that song you older than me you should know this i don't know biggie smalls oh i think it was if you don't know now you know all right ladies and gentlemen i am going to bring in my pan dish and then i'm going to bring in my Philo dough. Philo dough. Okay, I don't need all of this dough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see where half is. Just like that. And I'm going to just pour. God. Jesus. My God. Okay. Uh oh. Before, look at me thinking, he gotta spray this up. He gotta lube it up. All right, and we're just gonna gracefully go to the hot to the side, make a little crust, just like that. We'll go ahead and put it to the side. Okay, I'm not going to use the entire thing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up, get it all out of my way, so we could save it for a, another dish. We like to not be wasteful. Alright, so now that I have basically all my ingredients, I'm going to just pour it on in. Just like that. Get into the square that I desire, just like that. Oh, wait! Right. So, this roll is gonna come up and do some marvelous things. All right, you guys, the oven is on at 375, 
and we're gonna leave this in for a good 20, 25 minutes. All right, you guys, the quiche is done and it smells so good. Let's go ahead and hear this. The egg is cooked. Let's just go ahead and cut ourselves up a very nice piece, you guys. Let's just go ahead. We will be donating this one, so we are not going to be eating it on camera. So, make sure you do keep that. Mm -hmm. Keisha has really crusted up exactly how we want. Look at that, you guys. Look at the ham, the sausage, the, that um, roll, that Fido roll, crusted up into an amazing um, kind of like cupcake formed everything around and it's holding the formation. And we are going to donate this. I might just ask people who are done if I can snag a little piece. But other than this, this looks great and I might just go on ahead. But you guys, go make this for your grandbabies. This smells delicious. Again, perfect quiche for a Sunday morning or any breakfast with your family. All right, you guys, you guys better snag this because this is liquid gold right here for the Velveeta. Super important. All right, I melted half a stick of butter. Put that on. Uh -oh. Why does that always it like reflects? I don't understand. I don't understand. Let me know if you know where that is from in the comments because if you do, then you my people. Next up, I have some sour cream. We are going to do it. About half a cup of sour cream just really mixes it up together. It's that nice, um, um, real consistency. All right. I did season up the noodles with some Italian seasoning, but we are going to put um, a little bit more seasoning on top of the noodles. <clears throat> now, some people. Um, making macaroni is, is, is going to be different for a lot of people, um, because they have different, um, taste buds. Um, but for me, I definitely like to season the noodles in the water. That's just me. Some people, um, say that I don't do squat nothing. Um, thank you for your consideration. Um, but I'm going to bypass on that, um, because I'm going to show you how I do it. And the people who rock with me who like how I do it appreciate you guys and that's why we be linking up all right so I'm gonna set that to the side and I know how you guys like that little I hate making a mess y'all I know how you guys like the little squishy 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 so I'll go on and head and be flat I got some more of that seasoning I'm gonna go ahead and get this black pepper down here. Now I like black pepper. Uh, macaroni makes it spicy, at least to me. To reach its own, again, we are making this in um, the hopes that you guys will follow our ingredients. But if you don't like something and you guys want to switch it up, by all means, go ahead. All right, I have some real bacon bits. I'm going to just scatter the top layer with some real bacon bits. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Add some of that grilled bacon on there. Again, if you don't like pork, that is okay. Just go ahead and bypass this video. Or just don't make everything else and don't put in the pork. Next up, I have the new version of the prego. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. You said it different. Prego. Like, prego. Prego. I don't know. Spicy marinara. I love a little kick. So we're going to uh, open that up just like that. <laughs> All right. And we're going to go ahead and put a nice thick layer. Just like that, y'all. Again, I utilize everything that came in the can. I don't like to waste. All right, we're gonna move this around. Nice layer. All right, y'all. 
you go ahead four corners I always say four corners because you want everyone to have a bite of the awesomeness all right y'all go ahead and shake 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 I know you guys like that little shaky motion it really makes you guys feel something in your soul next up I have some pepperoni we're gonna open that up and we are going to use two of my favorite things. I love macaroni and then I love uh, pepperoni pizza. Obviously, we don't have the dough, but we are going to do a nice layer of pepperoni. Now, I should have gotten the bigger slices because this just kills me. This absolutely just kills me. Hand hitting them one by one. But this dish is going to be amazing. The kids, this is a fan favorite for kids. It's perfect for potluck, game day. It's just overall a fan favorite. It does take, obviously, some time to gracefully just put these across. But it is a fan favorite. So, and that means... If it's a fan favorite and everyone's going to be talking about the dish and how good it is, then I will go through um, the process of slowly putting these on. But it is super important that you guys gracefully just don't overlap them like too much, but you guys gracefully just cover that um, marinara sauce. And we're going to go ahead and just put it on you guys All right. we are almost there we almost got this whole thing covered now as you guys know with pizza when you got the meat then you got to put some cheese on top to really combine and mold everything I see some pieces that I'm going to try to um, delegate and kind of hide underneath some pepperoni pieces and what do you think about pepperoni? You like it? I like pepperoni. Yeah, Doesn't it smell so good in here? Do you like pepperoni? Do I like pepperoni? Uh -huh. I do. I love pepperoni pizza. Um, but then I also like macaroni. So that's why I wanted to try something a little different and infuse them. You know what I mean? Next up, cheese. Italian style cheese. Now I know some people in the comments be like, he forgot to add cheese. Well, I got the cheese. And for this one, I clearly did not forget about the cheese, you guys. You guys love the cheese videos. Um, because you guys like to eat unhealthy. And that's what we're doing it for. So, and just on the back end, it does wonders for me. So here we go. We got cheese, y'all. Just for y'all. Cheese, please. Now, someone older than me says that as if I knew what TV show that was on. Clearly not. Where's it from? I don't know. That must be from um, two decades ago. <laughs> because it was not in my time. Just for looks, we're going to add some on top. We are going to make a good old smiley face. I'm going to make a smiley face just for you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. I completely avoided the food. I do not want germs on the food. And at the same time, I don't want you guys saying anything in the comments. So, respectfully, I turned away. All right, you guys, we're going to make this wonderful smiley face because today is a good day. We out here getting this bag. We out here making these videos. Let me just cut open this little pepperoni. There's the nose, y'all. Alright, with that being said, look. We're going to put this in the oven. And Mr. Smiley Mac and Cheese Pepperoni is going to be in there at 375 for a good 20 minutes. Alright, you guys. The cheese is melted and this mac and cheese just looks fabulous. But with infusion of some pizza. All right, I got my plate. I got my spoon. And let's just go for it. This smiley face is about to be destroyed by me. Because this is going to be amazing, y'all. 
Alright, so we're gonna go right here. The cheese is fully loaded. Oh my gosh, you guys look at this. Look at that cheese. It is blended. And this tastes so good. Alright, this is gonna be amazing, you guys. This one um, is going to be super, super hot. I just can't wait. I'm going to just show you. Um, it looks melted, pepperoni, everything, cheese is all good, you guys. And I'm not going to eat this on camera because it is super hot, but this would be amazing for potlucks, game days, and great for the kids if anything is happy. And the kids are happy, mom and dad are happy, and this is why you guys need to make this. See, Smiley's still smiling.